Hello everyone, I'm Caitlin and welcome to my cooking show. So today we're going to be making Japanese candy. I have seen several different kinds of these like candy sets that you make these weird little like gelatin candies that look like other food. There's just like all kinds of stuff like that out there. Most of it comes from like Korea or Japan cause they're making all the fun stuff. So I found these three sets at Meijer and I was like, uh, yep, I have to have all of them. The first set is, it's like little sushis. The recipe says grape and soda flavors. Not sure what parts are grape flavored and what soda flavored, but this yellow one is supposed to be egg. That's supposed to be tuna and that's a salmon roll. The second one I'm going to try are these like little mini donuts. Custard, cocoa, vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate flavors. So those sound a little more appetizing. I'm saving what I think might be the best for last because it looks the most complicated. It is a little mini candy version of like a ramen dinner. So there's mango pudding, whatever that is. Little spring rolls, little dumplings, and the one I'm most interested is the ramen noodle soup. Ramune soda? Strawberry, cola, and mango flavors. I've got my old fashioned in hand. So let's just jump right in. So the first one we're gonna do is this little sushi guy. Adult supervision and assistance required. I'm an independent woman, so I think I got this. Ah. <laughs> You guys won't see this because it's going to be down on the table, but I'll show you now if I can. They give me a printout of a little sushi board that I'll be making it on. Okay, so we got this little tray full of goodies. We have the rice candy powder, salmon roll powder, a little spatula, tuna candy powder, soy sauce candy powder, and the omelet candy powder to make candy eggs because that's what I've always wanted to try. And this little block of black candy that we're apparently going to roll out into seaweed. Oh, it also has this little water dropper. Thank goodness, because I was concerned. All right, all right. I'm like kind of nervous to start doing this, but I'm gonna follow the instructions and we're gonna see what happens. I'm also gonna do my best to show you what I'm doing in here because um, you can't see the table, so I'm gonna do my best. So we're getting some water with our dropper and we're filling this like oval thing in the first tray. I'll show you in a second. Patience. Ooh, I've poured it all in here and now we're going to mix it up. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's actually working. It smells like bubble gum. That's what it is. It looks like, well, it doesn't look like rice, but it's all like sticky and like tacky like it. Number two, make the omelet. Water first, mixing it up. You can kind of see in this tray, we mixed up the yellow powder that's going to turn into an omelet. Ah, crap. Now we're gonna make the tuna, which is I think basically the same thing. Yep. Water, and now mix. Need a little palate cleanser. Not. Nice. Oh, now we're gonna make the dried seaweed. How's that for ASMR? All right, so we get this little um, black taffy-like candy thing. I'm supposed to stretch out this taffy into this little rectangle. Not really sure how that's supposed to happen, but we're gonna do our best. It just ripped in half. I was trying to spread it. It just ripped. All right, there's my um, seaweed. It's flat, okay? Okay, next. Just uh, mixing this white powder into water and it's just not doing much of anything. Mix in a, oh crap, I just spilled some in the omelet. Man, I'm just not a fan of how much grape is happening in this thing. Grape flavor doesn't even taste like real grapes. Where does it come from? So now we're supposed to be able to 
pick up this, it's like this dark orange liquid and drop it in this other clear liquid and it's supposed to make like little balls. Oh my gosh. I probably don't even need that many little balls, but we're gonna make all of it. Ew. Ew, get, ew. No, 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 ew, one come off. Mm. So we're gonna make a ball of rice for the salmon and the omelet. So basically I'm gonna need three balls of rice. So there's my first little ball of rice. Really don't have to do much, just squish it together. There's the second one. So here's my salmon. Gonna plop it on this. There's my salmon sushi. Here's my egg. Gonna plop it on there. There's my egg sushi. So I wrap this around. So I have a little roll. So this is this is the bubbles it made. So then you have <laughs> this little bubble filled sushi. I'm gonna dry it. Mm, I don't want it. Okay. They really bank on how fun these are to make. Candy's not great. Now we're gonna try the egg omelet sushi. Ah, same thing. Trying my little sushi roll. Mm. Super great flavored. Not a fan. Definitely time for a palate cleanser. So next we're going to make donuts. Oh my. I like that they give you some like suggestions for donut shapes to make. As if I'm gonna try to make any of those a freaking teddy bear. Too much work. I'll be lucky if I get one to stay whole. You get this little striped placemat and this little pink one. <laughs> So we got our popping cooking, cocoa dough powder, our custard dough powder. What What's custard? Cute little sprinkles. Oh, so we got our strawberry sauce powder, our chocolate sauce powder, vanilla sauce powder, and crumbs. Um, we get a little squeezy bag, popping cooking brand, squeezy bag, custard powder, Ooh, that smells nice. So I have this little tray full of powder to make some dough. This is so cool. It's actually turning to like a dough consistency. Again, sorry, I'm sorry. Look, it smells like cookie dough. Gonna knead this together. One ball of dough on the pink paper. Repeat those steps again for the cocoa powder. Knead it, mash it together. There is my chocolate ball. There's like two different little molds. I'm smushing the custard in this mold. Not too bad. Resembles a donut. Chocolate donut! <gasps> it worked! A little ball donut. So now we're just gonna do that with the chocolate one. And then we're gonna make some icing. We're gonna make some donut sauce. That's the best kind of sauce. Chocolate sauce. Strawberry sauce. Vanilla sauce. Sauce for your sauce. Smush! Boom goes the dynamite. One of these of water, and then a packet of sauce powder. Are you annoyed yet? Cause I'm not gonna stop. Vanilla sauce. <gasps> Vanilla sauce. Strawberry sauce. Chocolate sauce. We're putting the chocolate in this bag. <laughs> That's what we got. I didn't do anything. There we go. Oh, cute. Blurp, 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 blurp. Gonna use some of these crumbs. Oh, look at that. Texture is weird. Don't know how I feel about it. I think because it doesn't taste that bad. This little guy. Again, taste isn't bad. Vanilla sauce is good. Texture is weird. They have this little guy. Nope. Thought it was gonna focus. Okay, get on with the texture. All right, last one. Chocolate bowels. The grand finale. The ramen dinner. Just looks like a little dinner platter. So we have dough powder, noodle powder, soup powder. This says ingredients, but they're really just sprinkles, I'm pretty sure. But it's ingredients. 
Oh, we get a little toothpick, mango pudding powder, another little squeezy baggy thing. Oh, and this time we get a little fork and a little cup. So first, make the mango pudding. We're just um, mixing some mango pudding in a thimble and let it solidify. Add powder from the blue packet and mix until thick. Mix the dough. Pop it, pop it around. Next, here's my first circle. I'm gonna press it in. Now we're going to add our ingredients. And you smush it together. Dumpling. I have circle number two, and we're going to press it into the mold. This looks like fish food, actually. Then we squish it together. Okay, so we have two dumplings. Set those aside. Make a circle as flat as possible. Just put ingredients down the center. Roll it over. I made a little burrito. Squishy squish. Add ingredients. The spring roll. This one is pretty jank looking, but. Next, we have our little ramen bowl. Soup powder. Noodle powder. We got some yellow jelly goopy stuff. Take our poppin' cooking bag and put this stuff in there so we can squeeze it out. Got all my goop in a bag. We're going to cut this. I think this is gonna have a similar effect that those little like jelly balls had, but with noodles. Oh, I made the hole too big. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Oh, I mess this up really bad. Crap. I'm so disappointed in myself. Oh, I'm so frustrated. So this doesn't look like ramen at all now because I made the hole way too big. That's our noodle. It's huge. Like that's an actual like linguine sized noodle. I did it so wrong. It's supposed to be like little ramen noodles. It's just one giant noodle. I'm actually disappointed in myself right now. So I got my bowl of brown liquid with a giant fat noodle in the middle. You sprinkle the rest of the ingredients on the ramen. Ramen. Whoa, those sprinkles have so much flavor. I don't want to eat this whole thing because I've eaten so much gelatin already. Because just don't. That tastes like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola ramen. Are you freaking kidding me? I was supposed to use the toothpick to poke a hole in the bag and then squeeze out the noodles. I didn't read all the instructions. That's what the toothpick was for. All right, guys, um, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. If you're interested in those little sets, I'm sure they have a lot of other ones. Those are just the ones I found at Meijer. Didn't taste great, but they're pretty fun to make. Yeah, it was fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. For anyone that has been watching regularly, you might have noticed that my channel is already starting to shift a little bit. I am still going to post cover songs, but I'm going to be changing my schedule a little bit. Um, I'm still going to post every Tuesday and Thursday, but I think my cover songs will be more like every other week or more when I feel like I'm ready to post a song. I was starting to get to the point where I was kind of rushing myself to just get a song together just so I could post it, just so I could have cover songs Tuesday. I don't want to put anything out there that I'm not proud of. I'd rather take a little more time and make a cover song video that I'm really proud of and that I'm really happy with and that I think you guys will enjoy than just kind of rushing to put something together just to get a song up. I'm still going to post every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, Tuesdays are now gonna be, every now and then it'll be a cover song, every now and then it'll be like a shorter form video of me just I don't know yet. <laughs> so if you made it this far, um, thanks for watching. You can follow me on all social media 
at it's underscore just Caitlin or on Facebook is it's just Caitlin. Thanks for joining me on Caitlin's Cooking Corner. It's not a cooking show. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!